Hey everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a challenge to try to make a dent in my physical TBR because I own far too many books that I have not read. What I'm going to be doing today is reacting to my May book haul from three years ago on my channel. And from those books I'm going to see what I have read, what I don't own anymore, and what I haven't read, and whatever I haven't read is going to go on my TBR for May. I'm a little worried about seeing quite how many books are on that book haul, so we'll just have to see what I'm digging myself into for May. This is actually based on something that I saw Kayla over on Books and Lala do on her channel a couple years ago, and I really liked it when she did it, and I figured I would give it a shot. So we're gonna see how many books I'm going to have to read in May, and I may end up unhauling whatever I don't read, but really the main goal of this is to try to make a really big dent in my TBR. So let's see how this is going to go. Hey everybody, my name is Leah and today I'm going to be doing my first book haul. I have quite a- Three years ago Leah is so awkward. The first book that I got this month is The Trials of Apollo. Okay, I have read, I have read Trials of Apollo already read this book. This book I had already read it. Sweet. Book in Rick Something I really liked about this book is that Apollo is bisexual. So there is a main bisexual character in a middle grade novel. Okay, I've already read Trials of Apollo, so that's one down. The next book that I got this month is Squire by Tamara Pierce. Okay, I had already read that. That's fine. The next book is the last book in a trilogy that just came out, but I actually haven't read the first two books in the trilogy, though I do own them. Leah, what but are you doing? Past Leah, really what are you doing? Trilogy. Why did you do this to your future self? That book is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rakowski, and this is the third and last book in the Winner's Trilogy by her. Why did you do this? Yeah, um, so... I've read the first book in that series, but it was four years ago. So in order to read that whole series, I would need to read that first book and then read the second two books. So that's, um, that's a whole trilogy on my TBR for, uh, for May. That, that's an entire trilogy. That's cool. Everything's fine. This is fine. Okay. Next book I got this month is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. And yeah, I haven't read that either. I was actually going to reread The Lunar Chronicles before reading that, but I don't think I'll have time to do that in May. So I don't know that I'm going to get to that one, but I will add that to my TBR. Oh boy, what have I, what have I gotten myself into? The next book I got, I have read before, but it was a really long time ago, but I couldn't resist this edition of it. And that book is The Secret- So I've technically read The Secret Garden before, but it was in elementary school and I haven't read that version, but I'm going to count that as having read it already. The next book is Marcello in the Real World by Francisco X. Stork, and this is a- Yeah, I haven't read that either. All right, so Marcello in the Real World is now on my TBR. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. The next book was probably my favorite book that I bought this month. I was really excited about this and my parents got me this for my birthday. And that book is Hamilton the Revolution okay. by- Okay, I've read that. That's fine, I've read that. I love Hamilton yeah, this so was much. This was in my Hamilton obsessed phase. Don't get me wrong, I still love Hamilton, but I was- very obsessed with Hamilton. Book Outlet had a Mother's Day sale this month, and since it was close to my birthday and they were having a sale, I couldn't resist. Oh god, Book Outlet. I ordered books from Barnes & Noble and Book Outlet? Okay, okay. The All first right, two books fine. are Shadowfell and Ravenflight. Okay, I, I read that series. It was cute. Whew, thank goodness. The next book is Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. It is a contemporary book. Yeah, I haven't read that. I have not read Ask the Passengers. So, so far I have read six of the books on there and I have not read five of them, plus one because I have to reread the first Winter Trilogy book. So that's six books so far on my TBR. That's, that's fine. That's, that's fine. I, I can do that. 
The next book is Warm Bodies by Isaac Mary. Yeah, I haven't read that. That brings me up to seven books I'm gonna have to read. Great. Also, I don't know how interested I am in that book anymore. I bought it because I had just seen the movie and I have no idea if I'd actually enjoy the book. But I guess we'll see if I'll get to it in May. The next book is The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. Okay, I've read One and Only Ivan. It's adorable. I love it so much. Highly recommend it. One more book for the have read. So now we're even at already read seven, have to read seven if I'm including the first Winter's Trilogy book. We're doing, we're doing great here. The next book is Bruiser by Neil Schusterman. Yeah, um, haven't read that. I actually don't know that much about this book either. How many, okay, how many times past Leah says, I don't actually know much about this book, but I picked it up because it was cheap on Book Outlet. Past Leo, why? I mean, to be fair, he had written a series that I absolutely loved, so it was kind of an autobi author thing. But I, you didn't know what it was about, Leo. Why'd you, why'd you buy it? The next book is also by Neil Schusterman, and that is Challenger Deep. Are you kidding and me? I don't know that much about this book either. Are you kidding me? I bought another Neil Schusterman book. Next is Fly Girl by Sherry L. Smith. This is- I read that. That's fine. The next three books are all part of a series, and that is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making, The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There, and The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two. They seemed really cute, and they were cheap, Pass so Leah. I couldn't resist Pass them. Leah. Why did you make this decision? Yeah, I have not read any of those. So that's another three books. The next book up is Proxy by Alex London. I believe this is a sci-fi book. I don't actually know that much about it, but I did hear that it has some LGBT elements to it, and that's one of the main reasons I wanted to pick it up. So that brings me up to 12 books I have to read in May. The next book is S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst. It just looks so cool. There's a book inside of a book. It comes out of the case and there's a separate book inside and it's made to look like an old library yeah. book so it actually has oh. a sticker on it. May is going to be an interesting month. Here we are. So that's 11 books so far in this haul that I have not read. 13 books for my TBR for May if you're including the fact that I need to reread the first Winners Trilogy book and read the second book. So we're doing great. Remember how I started this video and I was like, oh, this is going great so far. I read the first book. The last book I have is Tortal and Other Lands, which is a collection of short stories. Okay, I read that last year, so we're good there. Thank goodness I've read that. So that was my May book haul, and actually I might have another book haul later this month. So that's the first video, but as past me said, I may be posting another May book haul, and guess what? I did have another May book haul because I went to New York, and I went to a Maggie Steve Otter signing, and I also went to bookstores. <sighs> Join me on this journey where I discover what a fool past Leah was. Hey guys, it's Leah, and today I'm going to show you some book and bookish things that I got in May. So the first thing I, that I picked up was a copy of The Raven King. I had already read that, so that's fine. The next book I picked up is also by Maggie Steve Otter, and that book is The Scorpio Races. I finally read that this past November, so there's another book I've already read. Thankfully, a bunch of the things in this video are just bookish items that I got, so it's not all a book haul. Thank goodness. And now we get to the part of the video where I went to the Strand and bought a whole bunch of books. And that is the first four books in the Gallagher Girl series by Allie Carter. Okay, those are books I had already read, so we're good there. The next book that I picked up was a book that I've actually seen on lists of books with LGBT characters before, so I've been thinking about picking it up, and that book is Hero by Perry Moore. 
read that, didn't like it, I've already unhauled it. The next book I picked up while I was there is that because All Fall Down by Ali Carter. I have read that also. Thank goodness! Oh. The next book I picked up is one that I actually read when I was a kid. A book I read when I was a kid. Thank goodness. And that book is The Thief Lord. So the next three books. All right, we're at the last three books. Good, good. I don't have any plans on reading them anytime soon. You don't have any plans on reading them anytime soon. Okay. Okay. But the tag said out of print. The tag said out of print, so you had to get them. And those are actually bind-ups of the American Girl books. Oh, the American Girl books. Okay, I will say, though I didn't have plans on reading them and I haven't read them, I'm pretty sure I read all of those as a kid. And I love those editions. And I already had some of the bind-ups, so I really wanted to add those to my collection. So I think it's fine that past me bought those. So I'm not sure if I'm going to add those to my made TBR just because I wasn't really planning on reading them. But also if I wasn't planning on reading them, why did I get them? But I also think I've read all of them before. So that's fine. Those are all the books that I... Alright, alright. So not too bad because there were no books in the second video that I have not read yet. Go past Leah. Well, actually, don't go past Leah because you bought far too many books in the month of May and you are making your future life difficult. So in total between the two videos, I had read 17 of the books. I hadn't unhauled anything I hadn't read. There is one book I had unhauled, but it was because I read it and didn't like it, so I'm going to count that under had read. And then there were 11 books that I have not read yet, and in order to get to the last book in the Winter Trilogy, I need to reread the first book and read the second book. So that means that my May TBR is 13 books. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all those. Also editing here Leah just to say that I'm now extra not sure I'm going to get to all those in May because there's a few other books to add to my TBR. I'm reading The Tiger's Daughter with the new LGBT fantasy and sci-fi book group that I'm in and I'll link our Twitter for that down below. I'm also buddy reading The Poppy War with a bunch of people and I'm going to be participating in the Asian Readathon. So more books to read in May. I may end up posting a TBR for the Asian read along later, so keep an eye out for that. So those books are the Winter's Trilogy, all three books in the Winter's Trilogy, Stars Above, which is a short story collection that takes place after the Lunar Chronicles, Marcello in the Real World, Ask the Passengers, Warm Bodies, Bruiser by Neil Shusterman, and Challenger Deep by Neil Shusterman because Patsia decided to get all the Neil Shusterman books. And then all three books in the Fairyland trilogy, Proxy and S. That's a lot of books for May. I will say that there are some books I don't think I'm going to prioritize as much. For example, I don't know how interested I really am in Warm Bodies, though it could be kind of a quick and easy read, so maybe I will read that. And the same kind of goes for the Fairyland books. I don't remember anything about them but they look like quick and easy reads, so maybe I'll get to them. And then I do really like Neil Shusterman's writing because I loved the Unwind Dystology by him, so I think I do want to prioritize those. But I will definitely update you guys on how this goes, and if there are any books in here that you think I should definitely get to in May, let me know, because anything I don't get to, I'm probably going to end up unhauling. So if there's anything that you think I should prioritize or shouldn't prioritize, please let me know. All right, that was it for this fun react to old awkward Leah who bought way too many books. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. All right, see you guys later. Tr Lunar Trilogy. It is not a trilogy. Why is past Leah a fool? Oof, blah, blah. The first three books, it's a trilogy. There's only three books.